more about uh, Vladimir Klitschko as time goes by, and we'll see if he can bring new flavor to the heavyweight division. Meanwhile, still to come tonight, Bones Adams out of Kentucky, 27 years old, already a veteran of a dozen professional years, reaches his high water mark as he gets ready to take on Pauli Ayala, who beat Johnny Tapia in the fight of the year in 1999, and then beat him again last year to establish his own pedestal at 118 pounds. They'll fight tonight at 122, and it's coming next, and it should be a good one. Meanwhile, mark your calendars for these upcoming shows. August 11, the 2000 Olympians return, featuring Jermaine Taylor fighting in his hometown of Little Rock, Arkansas. August 14, catch the next edition of Real Sports with Brian Gumbel. September 8, Marco Antonio Barrera, the man who dethroned Prince Nassim Ahmed to the chagrin of Emmanuel Stewart, takes on Enrique Sanchez. And a week later on TBKO pay-per-view, the finale of the middleweight unification series between Felix Trinidad and Bernard Hopkins. HBO, the heart and soul of boxing. And during the NFL preseason, keep tuning in to Hard Knocks, training camp with the Baltimore Ravens. Our unlimited access takes you inside the lives, on and off the field, of the reigning Super Bowl champion, Hard Knocks, Wednesday nights at 11, right here on HBO. A beautiful night on the Strip in Las Vegas. Again, today the temperature was over 100 degrees. Again, the hotels are 100% occupied. And one of the reasons fans are in town, a terrific boxing card here tonight at the Mandalay Bay. You've already seen the successful showcase for heavyweight superstar Vladimir Klitschko. Now let's get ready for Clarence Bones Adams against Pauli Ayala. And uh, Larry Merchant, this is a fight that boxing insiders are excited about, not just because these are two good guys and real professionals who deserve the money that they're about to get, but also because everybody expects it to be such a close fight. Can it live up to expectations? Uh, as one of those experts, yes, it will live up to those expectations. Ayala is an aggressive fighter, and that has resulted in him winning close decisions. Adams is probably a little slicker and quicker. Ayala is at that stage of his career following those defeats of Tapia where he's starting to think, maybe I can build a legacy. While Adams has shown some gumption by telling one of those sanctioning mobs to take their title and stuff it so he could have this big money fight. Ayala is happily married, and as of yesterday, Adams is happily divorced. These are two good pros, two good fighters who want to fight. And, and indeed, they, they like each other. They hugged at the pre-fight news conference the other day. They say, we don't need any of the nonsense of antagonism to get ready for this fight, but we're going to go in and fight as hard and as well as we possibly can. You've known them both for what? 15, 20 years, going back to their amateur days, right? Oh, yes. And in fact, uh, Yale had so many amateur fights. He had almost 400 amateur fights. The problem is the concern whether he's burned out from too many amateur fights. I think the fight's going to be a very good fight. I think it has all of the elements, the crowd, the big support that each one have. The interesting fact is that Ayala intends to fight his normal fight, which is aggressive, throwing a lot of punches. But for whatever reason, Bones Adam has decided that he's going to be a puncher tonight. He says his hands is healed. He's not going to take a chance on getting a bad decision against Ayala. And he feels that with the extra weight that he brings into the ring in his mind means that he's going to change his style and be a puncher tonight. So it's going to be very interesting. Natural counter puncher turns to puncher. Usually that doesn't turn out all that well. But let's see what happens now as we look at the tail of the tape. Between Paulie Ayala and Bones Adams, you can see that Adams is four years younger uh, but has also been a professional for a longer period of time. He turned pro very early in life. Larry will tell you more about that in just a moment. Half-inch height advantage for Adams. One-inch reach advantage for Ayala. They both weighed in at 122. Tonight, unofficially on our HBO scale, Adams has put on 11 pounds to 133, and Ayala 8 pounds to 130. Rules it about with their unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Clarence Bones Adams pull the Ayala fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the universal rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no free knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. In case the cut is caused by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards after four rounds have been completed. Before that, it's a technical draw and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim. Bad to the bones. Clarence Bones Adams. Nicknamed Bones by his dad for the obvious reasons. He was skinny when he was a kid. How long has he been boxing? Since he was four. Oh, 
biggest concern in this fight is that his promoters, as well as the crowd, are on the side of Ayala, the Latino fighter, because they generate so much of the revenue in big money fights today. Thinks of himself as an endangered species, a little white guy. And a terrific self-promoter who has spent the last couple of years going to every big fight he could find in this country, standing at ringside, talking to the experts, the writers, the broadcasters, and basically saying, look at me, pay attention to me. I'm fighting the way people want to see people fight. Let's take a look at a closer look, Larry. Bones Adam turned pro at 15, went down to Tennessee where he says it's easy to get a license no matter how old you are. He lost all three of his fights between the ages of 18 and 19. He has been undefeated for seven years and 17 fights. And across the ring from Bones, a man with a similar story to tell, equally as hardworking and professional. Some people felt as though Ayala did not deserve to get victory in his last fight against Hugo Dianza. But he certainly was regarded by almost all ringside observers as the deserving winner in his two fights with Johnny Tapia. And that alone is enough to build him one of the better reputations in the sport. Emmanuel Stewart mentioned the nearly 400 fight amateur career. Ayala admitted that he was burned out after that, took two years off from boxing before coming back as a professional. Immediately upon returning to the ring as a professional, he was sparring with Stevie Cruz and Troy Waters, and he said, I almost quit again. But he managed to get through all that to become a star. to his 118-pound world title because he says he doesn't know if he's going to stay at 122 pounds even if he wins tonight's fight. So let's take a closer look. Well, uh, had exactly 384 amateur fights between the ages of uh, 4 and 19. His only professional loss was in a fight in Japan uh, after a butt and a head cut on a technicality. His defeat of Johnny Tapia twice has sent him into a different classification as a fighter. Ring Magazine Fighter of the Year in 1999. And now let's go up to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino of Las Vegas, Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated is proud to present 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant IBO Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. Brought to you in association with your undisputed king of beer, Budweiser, and sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Dr. Elias Ghanem. The three judges assigned to ringside scoring this bout on the 10-point system will be Dwayne Ford, Dave Moretti, and Jerry Roth. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action working for the 142nd time in a world title bout, Joe Cortez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands in attendance here at the Mandalay Bay of Las Vegas and the millions watching around the world, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing gold, trimmed with white, and weighing in at 122 pounds. His professional record, an outstanding one, consisting of 32 victories, including 12 knockouts with only one loss and two world title belts. 
Ladies and gentlemen, here is the pride of Fort Worth, Texas, the two-time world champion, Holly Ayala. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black, trimmed with blue and white, and also weighing in at 122 pounds. His professional record also outstanding. As he's undefeated for the past seven years, he has 41 victories, including 19 knockouts, with three defeats and three bouts even. Now training and fighting here in Las Vegas, he comes to us from Henderson, Kentucky. Ladies and gentlemen, the former WBA Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Clarence. Adam!